Hey guys, it's Kate. Um, I know I already made a video this week and I wasn't planning to make a video this week. Um, but I had a bit of a shit storm. Um, I guess, I mean, I'm, I'm still pre-op, um, but I'm living like a post-op, uh, the best I can. I mean, with the fact that I still have a full stomach and whatever, but I have, um, taken away a lot of things that I normally would use as crutches or coping mechanisms. Um, so one, uh, alcohol, um, two is no caffeine, which I'm a big caffeine drinker. Um, I also took away my diet pop, so diet Pepsi, which is massive for me. I drank tons of that and it just made me feel good. Um, and eating. I mean, I, I don't, I'm as restrictive as I can be. I'm, I'm really concentrating on my carbs and the protein I get in and, you know, low fat and using my fitness pal, la 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 la. Today was the first day that I've lost my shit with someone. Um, I mean, those are kind of like adolescent behaviors that I had, you know, no respect for authority and, um, people can't sort of tell me what to do and when to do it. And today, I don't know what it was, but maybe it's just, I don't have my, my normal tools that I would go to. I mean, I do if I want, but I don't want to. Um, so I lost my shit. Um, I got, we have tons of snow, tons of snow. There's nowhere to put it in a parking lot. So we have these massive mounds of snow, um, right where you're trying to get out. Um, and so you have to kind of like inch forward a bit. So I did that and somebody, um, well, a woman came by in her breeding wagon, a minivan. And, um, I guess she thought I was coming out and she honked her horn and gave me the finger. And so like normally as an adult, you're just like, okay, whatever. Uh, today I threw her the tongue and proceeded to chase her out of the parking lot. FYI, throw the tongue. It's not attractive. So I don't like, what was I going to do when I caught her? I mean, if I could catch her, I, I, I really, think I would have dragged her out by her tits through that van, but like what purpose would that have been for me? I'm trying to be like mindful and, and really focused on the common good and, and why get yourself like bent out of shape for nothing. Um, but I was f hell bent on getting myself bent out of shape really. So I was trying to calm down from that and I dropped my mom off at our grocery store. And I said, I'll just pull in front because she was just running in and she has crazy bad knees and, um, needs surgery. And why, why make her walk across the parking lot if I don't have to? So I let her, um, go and I pulled way off to the side. Um, I sort of parked the car, but I was sitting in it. And then there's like this tap on the window you know, it's not going to go good. And it's a woman who's like my age, maybe, maybe younger. Um, and she's wearing a security jacket. So she taps on my window again and I know better because I'm already upset that I just roll it down like that much. Um, so I can't get my hand out of it. Um, and she's like, did you notice the post in front of you? And directly behind where you parked, that says fire root. I wasn't dealing very well with that. Okay. Like I don't, it was like I was a douche magnet today. I mean, I'm not trying to be a dick. I'm not trying to be rebellious. I just, I thought I was being nice letting my mom go and I was not impeding traffic. Um, so 
So there she is with her security jacket, and I got a bit belligerent, and um, I said, yeah, I see them. And she says, well, you're going to have to go find a parking spot. And I said, unless you have a gun or a taser, I'm not really interested in what you have to say. To which she said, you need to find a parking spot now. And I threw it into drive and peeled out um, before I told her to have a good day and use some profanities that I'm pretty sure some people wouldn't want to hear. So once she had gone in, I zipped back to the spot and my mom had was coming out and um, like, I was seething, seething with anger, like get a grip. But these are the things that I'm having trouble with that I don't know, like I, I don't know that I normally would have like eaten at that moment because I'm in a car, but maybe I just, it's a, I don't know, build up of not having my, like my normal crutches and I don't know, did anyone else feel this? Like, I know a lot of people feel emotional, and I really haven't been emotional, uh, except for, like, rage, currently. Um, so, let me know if anybody else found that or came across that, because I, I mean, I was, like, thinking I was ridiculous myself doing it, but I couldn't stop it. Um, and even when I came home, I kept thinking about it, and then... I'm thinking this would be a great time to have a cider, you know, like, or a glass of wine or whatever, and I can't. So, I mean, I calm down, but I just want to know if anyone else has that, and, um, you know, how long does that stay? I'm sure I can expect it after surgery as well, but I just, I felt way out of control today, way out of control. Um, so... If you guys have any comments, that'd be great. Um, because I have a camera on, let me show you two things that I got. Um, my Canadian friends, Ontario friends, this might be helpful. Um, I got, I mean, I love the uh, Quest Bars. Love them. But I have to drive to Markham for them. And... Um, it's like clear across the city and I just like current in my current state, I don't think I should be doing that. Um, so I was at Costco the other day and I found these pure protein. Um, and they come in three flavors. Um, the stats are awesome. They're like 20 grams of protein, three grams of sugar. They're gluten free and they're about 200 for a bar. Post off that might not be great, but you don't you don't eat half of this anyways, maybe a quarter of it. So they come in chewy chocolate chip, they come in peanut butter, and they come in just a regular chocolate. But you can get them at Costco. And this is the box. Oh dear. Um and it's a large box. And then the inside they're individually packaged. Oh, can I get it out? so prepared. <laughs> now the box is giving me Ajita. Oh my god. <sighs> and breathe. So that's one of the boxes and you get uh, six bars in a box. So I got these in the States at Walmart and I think it was $7.99 just for one of these boxes which I thought well I'll just try it and see how they are. So they are $9.99 here in Canada at our Costco. I also got um, Smart for Life, and I think that that's a diet plan. Like a Jenny Craig or something. I don't care, I'm not doing that. But, oh dear. Can we see that? Okay, so Smart for Life, and you get 18 bars, and there is um, no preservatives, no GMO, no trans fat, no cholesterol. These ones. I don't know if they're any healthier because they have corn syrup in it, which was kind of, you know, if you're hardcore naturalist, that's not going to be good for you. But um, they come in a smaller package and they, they're they just about, I know, I don't want to let go of this stamp here, but 
um, they're about that big um, and that wide. I'll open it because why not? Um, this is the caramel almond. Okay, so I don't know if we can see how small they are. They're kind of like um, like a Rice Krispie inside. Um, fairly good. Okay, so my first bite, I had the caramel um, almond one yesterday. The first bite, uh, I could see why they had no preservatives and anything in them. But what was throwing me off is that there is um, some type of almond extract, and it was really... That's called extract, actually, not oh, extract. Um, but they, it's really kind of powerful for your first taste sensation. So I thought, well, it's a good thing I bought these at Costco because FYI, it doesn't matter if you opened it. If you don't like it, you can take it back. But they, the second bite was fine. I don't find, I find them lighter and that they don't have quite a chalky, weird aftertaste. And post-op, I mean, that's a pretty decent size that you could have half and be, be good. So in that one, there are chocolate peanut butter, uh, just chocolate and the caramel almond. So that was also 19. Uh, oh, frick. I mean, maybe I should have a drink today, right? Okay. It was nine 99 as well. 18 bars. So if you're looking for something different or something you just have in your gym bag or your purse, I think these would be perfect. Um, otherwise I'm still on the shakes and whatever. So, um, I think that's it for today. Again, I wasn't going to make a video, but I'm so glad you're all here to listen to me rant. Um, so everyone have a great day today and, um, looking forward to, uh, you know, watching all these videos. I have them piling up, so I'm going to watch that tonight. Um, Shout out. Let's do a shout out. Um, I Heart Lacey did a bunch of shout outs and I think she's awesome. So, um, shout out to Lacey. Um, and a shout out to West Coast Rust who is going through a little bit of a downtime. So, I mean, none of these people watch my video, but that's fine. Um, shout out to her as well. She's great. Um, also a veteran so if if you're new and you want to check her out I'll put it down below but um, she's great uh, I like her a lot pretty raw pretty dry not dry as in unentertaining like dry humor I like her a lot um, and uh, Firefly hi hen I thought for my Ontario friends like there's some of us that are really close like within an hour of each other and I thought that um, there's all these like meet and greets and everything. Um, I mean, I'm not going to it cause obviously pre-op and I'm just not going at this point. Um, but I know, uh, little Aussie Mal does, uh, like a meet and coffee with her Aussie friends. Um, so putting it out there that if anyone in my area pre-op or post-op that wants to get together, maybe on a Sunday or something, thank you very much. You can, you can go out of the screen now. Uh, without children, um, maybe we can get to, uh, together at a Starbucks or a Tim's or something and, um, and do some, uh, coffee talk, you know, chew the fat, if you will. So, uh, I, I'm going to leave because again, we're out of control. So, uh, <laughs> take it easy and, uh, see you later guys.